This video will show the process of doing an immediate backup out to the cloud. So you would open Retrospect and then go to Backup in the upper corner and then go to Continue. And then you need to decide what it is you want to back up. In this case, I could select my local Macintosh hard drive and I can do all files from that hard drive. If I had network machines that have been added to Retrospect, they would also appear in this list and I could select one of my network clients. In this example, I don't really want to copy the entire hard drive, so I can go to Browse and I can browse the disk and specify a favorite folder or a specific folder that I'd like Retrospect to back up. And so I've got a test data folder here and I can click Add to Favorite Folders and then click Done. Retrospect will then add it to my list of folders that are available to be backed up as sources. So I'm going to select that folder and then I'm going to go, go ahead and click on Continue. After I click Continue, I can either use an existing cloud media set or I can create a new cloud media set. In this particular example, we're just going to use the existing one and click on Continue. And then when we click on Backup, Retrospect will then begin scanning the data on our local disk and we can see this under activities and then running and Retrospect will scan the drive. After it scans the drive it's going to actually cache the first 600 megabytes of data. Once it caches that data to disk Retrospect will then begin uploading that data to the cloud. And so you can see here it says uploading 600 megabytes and it's 100% remaining. That number will decrease over time as your cloud data gets uploaded up to the uh, your Amazon S3 server or other cloud compatible server. After the first 600 megabytes have been uploaded, you're going to see this value reset again back to 100% remaining as it uploads the next 600 megabyte chunk of data uh, onto your cloud server. If you were doing an incremental backup and only copying a small amount of data, let's say 10 megabytes, then Retrospect will scan the drive and then immediately copy only that 10 megabyte chunk up to the cloud and so the percent remaining will change very quickly because you're only uploading a small amount of data. So the more data you have the more chunks of data it needs to upload and the more times you're going to see this value reset to 100 percent and then slowly go down again and then return back to 100 percent as it's uploading more and more data to your Amazon S3 cloud compatible server. 